Yeah, that seems about right. Welcome back to Roblox! It's been a while since I last played this game. Well, then again, it always has been a while ever, every time I play Roblox, because let's face it, I don't play this game that often on my channel. I only play it like once every, what, two or three months? Sometimes even longer than that. But we are back here, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different in this episode. Instead of visiting a very popular place on Roblox that has like thousands of concurrent players, we're actually going to be playing some old school games on Roblox. And when I say old school, I mean like games that were created in the late 2000s on Roblox, like back in Roblox's early days, I guess you could say, and have not been updated since then. So why exactly am I doing this? Well, I've been feeling pretty nostalgic recently, and I felt like revisiting a lot of the old games that I used to play on Roblox back in the day, like back when I first started playing Roblox when I was in elementary school. So, I just felt like revisiting some of them, and this is one of them right here that I'm playing. This game right here is called Return, or actually, no, not Return, what am I talking about? It's called Home of the Toastmaster 3000. It's a game that I remember playing on Roblox a very long time ago, and as a matter of fact, I actually have this game in my favorites. I favorited this game a very long time ago. So, basically what this game is all about is that, well, it's... Not about a whole lot of things, but basically, you have this toaster over here, and what's supposed to happen is that every now and again, there's supposed to be toast that pops out of the toaster, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's not really any objective that you need to complete here or anything, you're just watching toast pop out of this toaster right here, and that is pretty much it. That is the entire uh, premise of this level right here, or this place. You do also have these planes that you can use to fly around, but I don't think these planes work anymore, because off-screen... What the heck was that? My character just, like, striked a pose there for a moment. Um, I don't think these planes work anymore, though, because I can still get into them, but it doesn't seem like I can fly them anymore, because there is a button right here that says play-in, and I believe you use this button in order to actually fly the plane, but it doesn't seem to work anymore because the controls for the plane are no longer working. And not only that, but why did my seat suddenly change color? And why is my character just, like, frozen in animation? Look at this, he's frozen in time, for goodness sakes. What, what, what are you doing? Calm down, for goodness sakes. So yeah, the planes don't seem to work anymore, unfortunately, but I can assure you they used to before. I'm assuming that maybe Roblox was updated so much since uh, this game was created that it broke a lot of the features in the game. I mean, this game was originally created back in 2008, and it hasn't been updated since. And, well, it's 2016 now, and Roblox has been updated a ton since then, so the game is almost completely different now. Well, I mean, the game has a lot of new features, I mean, but a lot of things have been, have been changed around and everything, so... I, th I believe uh, the updates broke a lot of the like, really old games on Roblox, at least the ones that haven't been updated in a really long time, like this one, for instance. And there's also a teleport feature. This doesn't seem to work either. But basically, the way it did work was that if you move your cursor across the screen, you could click on anywhere on the screen, and it would just teleport you to that location. But again, I'm doing that right now, but it's not doing anything. So... I believe that feature might be broken as well. There was also a feature where you could reset your character by, uh, I think, left-clicking. That also doesn't work anymore. So now, in order to reset your character, you need to go into this menu and click on Reset. That's the only way you can reset your character now. It used to be a lot simpler back in the ye old days of Roblox. You also have this clock right here. And, as you can see, the clock says 8888 on it. This clock used to work before, I believe it is broken, but basically the way this clock worked was that it would count up the amount of time you were playing on the server. Well actually no, I think it counted up the amount of time the server was active, like how much time the server has been active for. But as you can see, it just says 8888, which leads me to believe that this thing is also broken as well. There also used to be like, I believe yellow cubes that fell from the top of the clock and down to the bottom. And once the yellow cube would hit the bottom, the toast in the toaster would pop out. So every time there would be a cube that would drop all the way down to the bottom of the clock, there would be a piece of toast that pops out of the toaster. But again, 
yeah, it, it's not working because the toaster is not popping out toast, and there doesn't appear to be any cubes falling from the clock as well. And not only that, but the top of the clock looks weird as well. It looks like part of it doesn't even exist anymore. So, I really do not know what the heck's going on here. But, yeah, it seems like a lot of the features in this game are now broken, unfortunately. So, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Also, redundant commentary is redundant. And that's all I really have to say about this game, guys. I mean, it's not a very complicated game right here. It's just watching toast pop out of a toaster, pretty much. And flying around with play-ins. And, yeah, that's really all there is to this game, to be completely honest with you. So, that's all I really have to say about it. Just a really simple game that I remember playing on Roblox a very long time ago, I think back in like 2008 or 2009 I would say, and it hasn't been updated since either, and I don't think it will ever be updated again. And also, I should mention that I changed my character a little bit. As you can see, I'm wearing a different egg on my head. Um, again, for nostalgia's sake, I decided to choose a hat that I had in my inventory for a really long time. This hat is called the Bouncy Egg of Boing Boing. It's a hat that I had in my inventory for a very long time. It's actually one of the Easter eggs that I obtained during the 2008 Roblox Easter Egg Hunt. And uh, this little badge right here is also uh, a badge that I received a very long time ago. It's the Roblox Veteran Badge that I think I received in like 2010, I believe. Like 2010 or 2011. You basically receive this badge once your account turns a year old. Even though my account actually turned a year old like two years before the badge itself was created. But anyway, yeah, that's all I really have to say about this place, guys. So I think we're gonna move on to another old place that I remember playing on Roblox a really long time ago. So, transition please. Well, that wasn't really a transition, that was more of a jump cut, but anyway, we're on another place here called the Haunted Mansion. I also remember playing this place on Roblox a very long time ago, but only vaguely though. I do not vividly remember this, but I'm pretty sure I have played this game on Roblox a long time ago. And this is like one of the oldest games created for Roblox. This game was originally created back in 2006, but obviously I didn't play it until a couple of years after it was released, because I didn't even know what Roblox was yet in 2006, so I only started playing this game a couple of years after. But yeah, the Haunted Mansion is basically, well, it's the Haunted Mansion. You're just exploring it, and that's pretty much all you do. I don't remember you do having to do that much in this uh, game, or being able to do that much. You do also have a bunch of different weapons that also do not work. You have a pumpkin right here, which doesn't work. You also have rockets, which also does not work. A skull that doesn't work, a ghost that doesn't work, and whatever the heck this thing is supposed to be, that does not work. So everything is just broken, except... Hold on. I can actually click on something in here. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, what? I can actually move this around? What? Okay. I don't remember you being able to do that. At least not outside of the Roblox Studio. I also vaguely remember, like, editing this place in Roblox Studio as well. And what the heck does this say? Okay. This says, oh, Red Room. Oh, okay. Nope, I, I ain't going in there. I know what Red Rooms are. I've heard of Red Rooms. You can't make me go in there, boy. No, thank you. For some reason, these doors right here don't open anymore. Not really sure why. But yeah, you do have lightning outside. I definitely remember the sound effects, though. I definitely remember the sound effects. But yeah, I do... Actually, yeah, I do kind of remember this, because, yeah, there is this, like, refrigerator that you can... you can open. That you can, I guess, demolish as well, because for some reason, you can just, like, click on different blocks and just remove them altogether. I'm not really sure why you're able to do that exactly. I mean, look at this, for goodness sakes. And just move this thing over here. Like, what, what the heck even is this? Yeah, this is like the old Roblox pieces. Oh my goodness. Oh, I remember this, guys. I definitely remember this. It is... It's it's coming back to me now. And actually, I can go back outside. Yeah, so... I don't really remember what you're even supposed to do in this game, to be completely honest with you guys. I, I like, don't remember this game at all. I, I, well, I mean, I don't remember it too much. And also, for some reason, I can't go back in, in the door now. So, let me just, let me just go around and get back in here. This seems to be the only door I can actually enter. But yeah, this hallway... Yeah, I do I do actually remember this hallway. What about upstairs? Let's check upstairs here for a moment. We got some beds. Okay, I can just take the bed sheets off. 
Okay, put it on top of my head, I guess. Hang on a second. Hang on a sec. Whoa, okay. Stop, stop freaking out, game. Okay. Yeah, everything is still affected by physics. Everything is still affected by physics. Yeah, just like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, the old Roblox studs. Long time no see, my friends. I wonder if there's a way you can revert to, like, older versions of Roblox so that these games can actually function the way they're supposed to. I actually wonder if it is possible. I, I should really go in and look that up. Maybe maybe someone created, like, like something for Roblox that allows you to, to revert the game to, like, older versions of itself. I'm not really sure, but... Yeah. I, I kind of remember this. I kind of remember this. I guess we can go and see the red room. Just to see if it is how I remembered it, but I, I, I'm scared, guys. If I have my rocket launcher here and regenerating the cursed furniture... Uh, 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 okay. I'm just gonna go down in here. I don't know what I'm expecting. Oh, jeez, I'm scared, guys. Oh, boy. Well, maybe maybe not that scared, but, I mean, I'm, I'm worried. Worried as to what I'll find. Oh, my... Wait, can I not even go in here? Um, actually, I don't think I'm even able to go in here, guys. Yeah, I can't even move these, uh... These things out of the way, these blocks, I mean. Regenerating the ill-fated windows. Actually, I think I might remember some of those messages. Might remember some of them. The ill-fated windows. Um, yeah, I can't get through here, guys. So, I can kind of look through here, though. Um, well, this is an interesting-looking red room. It just looks like a cave. So, <laughs> okay. Um, well, it looks like that's all there is to see there. So... Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about this game, guys. Actually, I thought you were able to sit down in these chairs before, weren't you? I'm pretty sure you were, but... Yeah, that's all I really have to say about this one, guys. This one I do kind of remember, but not that much, though. But, yeah, it's basically a haunted house. So, I guess we'll just move on to the next game now. So the next old game we're gonna try out here is called Nuke the Whales. Now, unlike the last two games that I played, it looks like this one was actually updated very recently because this game does not look at all like how I re like how it looked uh, back when I first played it, like back in 2008. But the objective of this game, if I remember correctly, is to well fire rockets at whales and blow them up in order to get their blubber. And there's one that just fell right there. So yeah, you do have a rocket launcher here, and it looks like the rocket launcher does actually work. But this is a kind of a different rocket launcher here, because this is not the one that I remember using a long time ago. And there's actually people on the server right here. But yeah, so the objective of this game, I remember, is uh, to basically, yeah, blow up the whales and then get their blubber. You can also increase the power of your rocket, which I do not remember that. And holy jeez, what is going on? Okay, there's a lot of whales in there. Oh my goodness, okay. How are you all doing? But yeah, it looks like this game was updated because this is not the nuke the whales that I remember. It was a, a lot more simplified version of this game that I remember playing. But it looks like it was updated, so I guess maybe the creator still supports it. And by the way, I should I should mention that the guy who made the three games that I currently played so far in this video, they were all created by the same guy. He was- it was created by John Chedletsky, also known as Telemon, and Telemon is actually one of the- How did I blow myself up? I wasn't even aiming for myself. What the heck? But as I was saying, Telemon is actually one of the people who works for Roblox. So yeah, he's one of the guys who works at Roblox HQ in California. What is going on with this right here? What is even- I- I just don't- I- I just- you know what, never mind. Why- why is your head just floating? I just- okay, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Forget it. And also, we have this random drum and bass music playing in the background as well, which I also don't remember. But, uh, yeah. You're just blowing up whales and, wow, this is some really laggy physics. But, it's still the exact same premise. I mean, just blowing up whales and getting their blubber. And actually, when, when this game first came out, I remember this game actually upsetting a lot of people because of the fact that you're blowing up whales and getting their blubber. It's like, oh, whales are always harpooned for their blubber and, and killed for their blubber and whatnot. It's like, calm down for goodness sakes, it's just a game. It's like, it's not like we're killing real whales here. So, you know, it, again, getting offended by video game violence, I don't understand people who get offended by things like that, but... Yeah. So, it looks like we do have a timer. I don't remember there being a timer. And actually, I do have more power. So, do you get more power when 
Yeah, it looks like you get more power when you earn more blubber. Oh my god, just blasted the smithereens, for goodness sakes. Just get absolutely annihilated. Okay, really? Like, I can't fire backwards or anything? And Okay, you know what? Fine. You just just forget this. Oh, I got a badge, and I got 100 points. There's an image, and I, and I think I won as well, and... Okay, I don't know what's happening. Just get me out of this place. Oh, it looks like there's multiple levels. Okay, so I guess this game was definitely updated since I last played it, because there's different levels in this game. So, yeah, this was definitely updated, guys. This is not the Nuke the Whales game that I remember playing a long time ago. Definitely not. So, this one was definitely changed. But it is an old game that I do remember playing on Roblox a long time ago, so I wanted to play it either way. But if I could have played, like, the original version of this game, which I know is probably not possible anymore, but if I could have, then... Yeah, I definitely, definitely would have showed this game off here, but... It's still the same premise, just blow up whales, get their blubber, make your rocket launcher even more powerful, and yeah, pretty much it. At least the rocket launcher still has the same sound effect that it did like eight years ago, so I mean, that's 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 a plus in my book, I guess. Anyway, moving on. Next up, we have Downhill Smash. Now, this game was not created by uh, Telemon, it was created by another guy called Stickmaster Luke. Now, the objective of this game is that, yeah, as you can see, you have these random cars falling down that hill over there, and the objective is to dodge all of the cars and make it up the hill. And once you make it up the hill, then that's it. You you beat the game. So, it does appear as though this place still seems to work, even though it wasn't updated in quite a while. This game has not been updated since 2010, according to, uh... The description on on Roblox. So yeah, the objective here is just to dodge all of these these cars here, or I guess trucks, as as it says right here. So yeah, they just spawn in randomly, and they're just tumbling down the hill, and you got to avoid them. And oh geez, yeah, it, it is kind of difficult. I will admit, I don't remember being able to complete this actually, or I might have. I don't know. There is a platform right up there that I guess is like a a spectator spectator thing or something. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, so, okay, there's a, a guest that just joined. Oh my god, thread the needle. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're just rolling down the hill as well. It's, it's like watching a, a, like a massive crash right here, for goodness sakes. I mean, look at this. Look at the rolling. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Yeah, so, oh jeez, okay, there's four cars. Where are they gonna go? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's another guy that's, that's, that's coming for me as well, okay. Maybe go in the first person here. Okay, there's gonna be, there's gonna be some more stuff. Okay, that's just one. That's just one. That's okay. Okay, that guy's definitely gonna dodge it. And, oh jeez, okay. Watch out. Oh my god, they're coming so fast now. I think after this, you just need to jump up. Oh, don't spawn it. Oh my goodness, okay. Maybe if I just stay in here. Don't spawn a car as soon as I get up the hill. Please don't do that. Oh my god, okay. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, don't spawn it. Please. Okay, maybe stay to the side. Maybe stay to the side. Maybe they won't hurt me. Okay, never mind, the sides do hurt me. Oh my god, I just got absolutely eviscerated. Okay, never mind, you can't touch the sides, otherwise you die. And wow, that guy didn't even get up the stairs and he died. Good job, buddy. You're really good at this game. That car just stopped completely. Yeah, I think if you even if you even touch the cars, you die, don't you? Like, can I, can I get into this car? Can I just get into the car? Nope. Just blast me into oblivion. And the last game I'm gonna play here, guys, is called The Ultimate Train Crashing Map, or something like that. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, this is another map that I remember playing a very long time ago on Roblox. I think I did play this one back in 2008. And basically, the objective of this one is to get in a train and crash it into that gigantic red wall. And I remember the trains just, like, completely exploding. Like, just, just, just shrapnel flying all over the place once they hit that wall over there. So, I'm not sure if the, if the trains work now. Actually, does this, like, diving thing even work as well? No, the diving, diving doesn't work either. Or, is it enter, or... No, it, I think it just doesn't work at all. Teleport doesn't work, reset doesn't work, okay. Do the trains work, though? That's what I want to know. Maybe they don't, maybe they... Well, actually, hang on. Could I click these... These buttons are what made the train move, actually, wasn't it? Was it these buttons here, or... I don't even know, actually, do these buttons even work anymore? Uh... Oh yeah, they do, actually. Yeah, I just got in the seat. Oh god! Oh my goodness gracious! Okay, where are we going? We're just tumbling. Okay, I think we fell off the map, actually. Alright. Well, I mean... <laughs> good to know that the map still... Still does, in fact, function. Okay. 
Well, that's good then. As as long as the the map does function, I just need to get into seed, and then it just it just takes off like a like a rocket ship. Yeah, here we go. But I can't like zoom out all that all that much. Oh geez, we're gonna crash into that thing. Oh my god. Okay. Oh yeah, it just falls apart. Oh okay. Wow. Um. Yep. It's definitely how I remember it, guys. It just it hit the wall, and that's it. You're you're dead. But I'm not dead. I'm still alive. What a trooper I am. Just survived a gigantic train explosion right here. Look at that. It just disintegrated, for goodness sakes. Yeah, so... That's pretty much how this game works, guys. I mean, you're just crashing trains into a wall. And even this text right here is like the old the old 2008 Roblox text. I guess the only other one... Well, actually, there's a bunch of other trains we can try out here. So I guess maybe we could try out the purple train next. You know what? I think we'll just try out all of them, guys. Yeah, we'll just try out all of them. Okay, we're going over some bumps. Uh, we're going over a giant ramp. And we're dying. And we're dying. Oh my goodness. Okay, just jump out. Jump out before I before I die here. And, okay, what am I doing, for goodness sakes? Okay. Well, that's the, uh, the purple train. Alright. And there's three other ones here. Yeah, regenerate the trains, find the train color, and say it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so let's try out the other trains over here. So the next one is blue. It looks like we're just crashing into another wall and then into the the wall in in front of it. So we just start in here, just start it up, and wait, where are we where are we going? Oh my God, barrel rolling! Oh, okay, blasted into oblivion. There's the train actually. Um, yeah, it's just gonna fall off the map. You know what? I might as well fall off with it. Well, actually, maybe I didn't have to do that because oh, is that wind? There are wind sound effects all of a sudden. What the heck? Okay. Next, we'll try out the red train. We're just going... We're going off of, like, a pretty big ramp this time. Let's try out this one right here. Let's try out this one. I don't remember all of these trains, just so you know, but I think I remember, like, the trains on the right. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, okay. Wow. I just got launched into outer space. Yeah, there goes the rest of the train. Oh my goodness. This is... This is amazing. This is unbelievable. If only the teleport thing could work. Then I could get to the, the green train so much faster. Last but not least, we're gonna try out the green train. Okay, so could I could I keep the camera like this and... Okay, no, the camera just automatically, like, resets. Okay, do I have to... Can I, like, bail out of the train? Okay, never mind, my head is stuck in the train. Oh, goodness me. Okay, well, I, I just turned into a neutron star, so... <laughs> there you go, guys. Just got obliterated. And, yeah, that's all there is to say. That is all the trains, by the way, so there you go. Just... Destroyed like six different trains, guys. Just, I don't even know how much how much dollars and damage we just caused right there. But yeah, other than that, guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here because I've been recording for a pretty long time. So those were five different games that I remember playing in Roblox a very long time ago. And uh, by the way, the creator of this place right here is uh, Alexander22. So he's the guy who uh, made this map right here. This place on Roblox is not very popular, by the way. It only has like six thousand play is, so it's definitely not popular, and, uh, the most popular one I think I did play in this entire video was the Downhill Smash one, which has over 2 million plays, I believe, so, yeah, other than that, guys, those were just a few places on Roblox that I remember playing a very long time ago, there's still plenty of other games on Roblox that I played a lot back in the day, and who knows, maybe I'll make, like, a follow-up part to this where I play even more, like, old-school Roblox games, I don't know, we'll see. But for now, I'm going to leave the video here, and if you guys want to try out these games for yourselves, the links to all of them are in the description. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to like it, and if you disliked it, feel free to dislike it. It is your opinion after all, and I will see you guys in the next video I make. Later!